Here's an example of the wall and what happens. So we have an app. Let's say we download TikTok. We have our database for TikTok. We have our write ahead log. The write ahead log is empty. We start creating videos and commenting on people's TikTok and maybe we're chatting in TikTok. As that happens, data hits the write ahead log. So now we have our database, but we have this page that's written in the write ahead log. What happens here is if they are separated, you could have two issues. One, the database opens and you have no idea that there's missing data. Two, the database won't open and it says that SQL Cypher encrypted. It's truly not encrypted, but what it needs is that write ahead log. My best advice for you, if you are giving someone a database to do application analysis, always give them the wall. If you see it, you want to give it to them. Now, what will happen is eventually the database is going to say, hello wall, do you have anything in there that I need to place inside of my database? And this is called a checkpoint. When a checkpoint occurs, the data from the wall moves into the database. Now this is where some of the tools will do strange things. And this is also something you have to consider on, is that actually true? If you have a tool that tells you it has recovered deleted data from the wall, before you report that as deleted data, search the database and make sure it's still not active. Because what will happen is technically, old page two is no longer in use. So it's untouched, it's marked as deleted, but it's not deleted. It simply moved its way over to the database. So the tools aren't wrong. I've tried to work with the vendors to correct them on calling data removed from the wall deleted because it's just not there. What happened was a checkpoint occurred and it went into the database. Now, what happens if the user deletes something from the database? It would go to the free pages in that database. It doesn't go back to the wall. The wall is temporary transactions. Once data moves from the wall into the database, it never goes back. So then you would have to look at the database in a hex viewer or carve it somehow to get deleted data from there. If vacuuming occurs, you're not going to uncover it. But the wall may not be vacuumed. Go check there. And you may see fragments of information that used to exist in that database.